when we first started Simtai, we focused a lot on audit. And if you know anything about audit, it, it essentially involves going into a company and looking at a particular process. And for us, it always involves technology. And just indicating some of the some of the checks and balances that were necessary that you perhaps missed and so you're at a position of challenge as opposed to one um, of success. And what companies now are looking for is more advice. So these are our, these are our strategic plans. This is where we want to grow. How can you help us? Business-wise, I think the biggest misconception is uh, that we are only IT auditing. Um, so we offer IT advisory, um, business assurance, um, I security, as I said, and auditing, and it comes with many features that were not just linear or one-dimensional. Yeah. What we try to do for companies is just to have them mature. That's how I describe what we do. So from an IT security perspective, when we come into an organization, we're looking at how we think you rank for security as a company and then our job is to help you mature. So if you're pretty immature, we want to put in policies, procedures in place, we want to you to look at what kind of devices you can put in place, uh, what kind of assessments you need to get done. So there's a lot of um, penetration assessments, vulnerability assessments um, that are done. If you have applications, like you have an internet banking application or other applications that face the public, we want to try and probe those applications, hack into them, see what we can do. And then once we are able to do that, you know, we call ourselves ethical hackers. We do this without doing any harm. And once we find any kind of loopholes, we then give them recommendations on how to fix those loopholes so that persons who intend to do harm cannot exploit them. In terms of partnership, we currently partnership with, with OpenWave. Um, it's a very interesting story. Andrew Knox um, used to work with Simtai. Well, we, it took us a while to convince him to leave his cushy job at, at, at it was then Life of Jamaica. Um, that's a, that has been an interesting challenge. That's a, that's a different story, trying to convince people who work in these Air Jamaicas to come to this company with two people. Yeah, that, that's a recurring theme. But um, but we have a very good relationship with, with OpenWave and um, with Andrew Knox, and he has been a critical part of what we're doing, especially from a security perspective. 90% of our clients don't even know that there are two separate companies. You know, and that's, 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 that's how we have worked together. So open way for the most part, for the major clients, we have worked seamlessly. So when we go out, I mean, each of my team has a Simtai email address. When we go out, we go out under the Simtai umbrella. So for the majority of the clients, it will be a seamless transition. Um, for, for others, they are already aware of my Simtai roots and my Simtai connection. The thing about that what, that, what, what, that makes things easy is that, you know, Simtai and OpenWave have always been involved together. So they're not two strange entities trying to figure each other out. So the due diligence process is, is um, from, a, from the perspective of, of formality. Well, Simtai security is making a difference. We always add value to clients. A lot of different firms say that they, they are doing security reviews, but we go over and beyond when we're within an environment. So the client really gets value for their money. We become a part of their culture, we become a part of their environment. So when we provide that report, it's a true representation of all the risks, of all the different reviews that we have executed. Traditionally, we utilize a lot of physical devices. We're trying to adopt a lot of cloud technology. So even some of the security tools that we use, some of the virtual environments that we're going to utilize, it's going to be in the cloud. So it's going to be much easier to execute an assignment. So a lot of persons might get certification just to say that they have certifications. Yes, I have quite a few, but it's more of the knowledge that it imparts on me. And although I have a lot of certification, I'm still not stopping. So I'm still aiming to obtain more certifications. We feel like there is tremendous potential for our IT security services in the rest of the region. And so we're being very deliberate about creating and defining some of those packaged solutions like I was, I was mentioning before that people can easily understand and consume and so we can offer them to the rest of the region. We're, we're a knowledge-based company so it's all about capability, competency, capacity. So one of course is the, the skill set of the team. There are emerging technologies that our customers are very very concerned um, about uh, from a security perspective 
and concerned about or interested in from a leveraging for business advantage perspective. So it's, it's really to ensure that what we call the bench strength of the team is, is up to par, both in terms of the skill sets and also in terms of the, 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 the head count, in terms of just raw capacity. In business assurance, we do a lot of work with companies around improving their business processes, introducing new technologies to them and trying to guide them on how to move forward in incorporating those technologies. We focus on solutions at Simtai. So at the end of the day, our main aim is to provide value to our clients in whatever way it is, whether we have to go beyond what we um, set out to do in the first place, but the intention is always that we are trying to provide greater value to our clients, and that is why um, clients always come back to us. Caseware and Simta have a very interesting, unique relationship, and I'll tell you why. So having worked with other organizations where you sell a particular solution, so it's technology, you are never that close to the vendor. I mean, I have others that have sold other solutions before where the clients have a particular need, but to get a specific change made involves a long line of communication, bureaucracy, processes, just to get a tweak in the system, to assign a new functionality to a client. It's not like that with casework. Well, our role primarily with a lot of the casework implementations is we are seen as the technical lead or lead implementer on the projects. And what that means is that as far as any technical expertise are needed around the software and the platform itself, since Caseware is a Canadian-based company, we are the local vendors um, and we provide our technical expertise in advising clients as to how they want to use the software, how they can leverage it in their own business and create any new business value they can find since they now have this platform. So as the implementers of Caseware, we are on the customer facing side. So while the guys in Canada and some of the guys now here develop and make changes and improvements to the software, we have to implement them in our client environments. Uh, the implementation is sometimes a bit challenging, but it's, it's good for us because we have a close bond with the team in Canada and the team here. Uh, if we have any issues, they're always on hand to help us out. Um, um, mostly we deal with the data analysis side and the support going after. One of the things you'll notice about Simta is that we don't stick to traditional job roles. You know, we really look for young, enthusiastic people who are willing to learn, are willing to adapt to the different scenarios that come our way because we get a lot of different asks every day from our clients on different things. So you may be in one department one day and then the next day you hear that, okay, we need to help out in IT security. What do you know about IT security? Oh, nothing. Great. Work in IT security for a while. And I go, okay. So, I mean, giving us standard roles, kind of boxing you in a little bit, it kind of keeps you thinking that you're only here to do this one thing. When in truth it is, once you're here in this environment, there's a number of different things you can do and a number of different things you can learn from different people. I mean, we have been gauging ourselves against the market generally for, for the kind of services that we provide. And I can tell you that the services that we provide, in my estimation, we are out of this world. One of the benefits in being in IT is that the environment is always changing. Um, there are some specific areas that we're, we're beefing up capability um, as it relates to being able to advise and assure on. So there is an expansion of knowledge base, also expansion of, of headcount. So in addition to some of our aggressive targets around growing different areas of the business, one of the things that we see happening a lot in the regional space now is the need for, for data analysts. Everyone is trying to gather data to somehow mine that and turn that into some benefit for the company. And we started with data analytics, that's what we're excellent at. So I see us going, going into the data science space, but certainly it is serving our clients in that way, advising them on how they can use all this data that they're collecting to optimize all of their different business areas and their efficiencies and serve their market better. We have a great team here um, and my team members are, are young men who have 
grown just who came straight out of university um, and have grown so well in the culture in the spirit of of Simtai that now they actually handle client assignments on their own and over the next five to ten years I expect the team to grow um, and those members taking it further and greater to even greater heights. So, so the future of Simtai is an interesting one. I, I really think as a company we can't do anything we, 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 we want to do. So I think I'm privileged um, and, and, and extremely fortunate um, to have worked with a number of companies all across the globe. Um, and now being in Simtai and being a part of the organization, I can honestly say hand and heart that Simtai can stand up to a lot of these companies globally in terms of the quality of our work, in terms of the quality of the people that we employ in terms of our vision for the future and in terms of the product and services that we offer. Now, having said that, the world is also changing very quickly. Um, and you know, I think Simta is also adapting to that change uh, on a daily basis. So we are innovating at a speed um, that not a lot of organizations are prepared for, but that's good because it means we're always ahead of the curve. So in the next five years, I would see us moving into a number of the areas that were not traditionally or strong areas. So um, a couple of my colleagues would have talked about cybersecurity um, and business transformation and moving companies towards a digital future. Um, and I think the third one, the, the digital future, is where the, our biggest opportunity really lies. Uh, so companies are now having conversation around robotics and machine learning and artificial intelligence and automation. So those types of conversations um, once were restricted to just manufacturing and the banking sector. But in my conversations with a number of clients here in Jamaica and across the Caribbean, more and more entities are now having those types of conversations around what the future of work will look like for their industry and how Simtai can help them to, be, to prepare for, for that future that is unfolding. So I think that is a, a huge opportunity for us um, and, and thankfully we stay ahead of the curve so we're able to prepare our clients to meet that, that digital future.